What's going on guys, Min here, and I know what you're thinking, no, I'm not adding to the red light district, but I am here with the Lady Death Premium format by Sideshow Collectibles, an old school piece. This one belongs to my local friend Adrian, who's looking to sell a couple of pieces, so at the end of the review, if you're looking to purchase this, make sure to hit me up and yeah, stay tuned for those details. But we're going to do the unboxing and review. Before we do, make sure you hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We are doing a giveaway for this sealed all new Wolverine Omnibus once we hit 135,000 subscribers. We're like less than 500 away. Stick around to the end for details on the giveaway as well. And man, what a gorgeous art box. You have a different angle uh, of the statue on the front and on the back. The Lady Death premium format logo on the sides with the skulls. And of course on the top, you have the Lady Death logo as well. But enough of boxes, enough of intros. Let's jump into the unboxing. All right, guys. So the bottom of the box, you have this piece of cardboard. And if we remove that, it's got the cape enclosed in there under some plastic. So at first I thought the cape was kind of thick, it kind of felt like a raincoat material, but actually uh, I kind of dig it because it doesn't really wrinkle. The inside has like this um, red shinier type of material, again wrinkle free, so I think that's actually a really good look. Alright, so let's flip over the box, here's all the pieces on the inside with plastic, let's remove the plastic and start taking a look at the pieces. Quite a few pieces going on here. And actually, there is an assembly booklet here. It's just a piece of printed paper folded in half. I mean, it's an older piece, but uh, pretty helpful for the assembly. And first, we have some wooden stakes. Now, it's helpful that they're color-coded on the bottom. They have a good wood texture and paint job to them. And then also, we have this little um, time vial. What do you call this again? The Sands of Time? That's an accessory for her right hand. Uh, speaking of her right hand, this is it right here. So you have that pale white skin, painted red fingernails, and great texturing on her outfit. It has like a leather-like texture, nice folds by the elbow there. The left hand, she's holding uh, part of the stick for her scythe. It's got a great wrap type of sculpt to it. Same great leather texture on the black sleeve. And then there are five of these little skulls on these pikes, which look great, man. Some of them are stuck through the eye, like this one on the left. Some of them are stuck through the bottom. Some of them uh, through, you know, all different areas, we'll see. And then they're color coded as well, which is super helpful. Texture and paint look great on these. I love this one on the right here. It's going through like the bottom of the mouth, through the face. And then the last one here, no jaw, missing teeth, going right through the middle of the skull, the cracks, the teeth, the weathering, everything, the, the, the sculpture on the skull itself. All right, then we have one of her switch out options. This is her holding a sword with her right hand. I like the design on it. You have that metal look to the blade. You have this nice skull design as well. And then on her other hand, so the sickle, a lot of uh, dings and weathering on the blade. Again, that same wrap that we saw in her hand. Looks great, it's big, it stands tall. And then her hair, big, huge, sculpted piece of white hair. I feel like it has like blue highlights on it. The sculpt looks great, the hair's wisping around, it shows a lot of movement. And again, it's just a big piece of hair. Looks great. Then Lady Death herself, this is her looking bald. She has that nice kind of smirk on her face, whited out eyes. Nice little highlights on her outfit with the, you know, the golden skulls there. The nice leather boots. She's got the heels on, same great skin tone on the body, almost got like a blue highlight to the white pale skin. Very nice anatomy here. And the bottom of the base, number 408 out of 750. This is the old school premium format, this rocky base, and of course, a ton of holes because of all those skulls, pikes, and stakes that are gonna be keyed in there. And I did kind of forget to show this, this is the longer piece of her sickle that'll go on the bottom part and this other right hand switch out, which had some breaks. I had to glue that little part and the part that goes by the hand. So had to do some repair and doctoring on this one. Before we get her assembled, let's go ahead and give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variants, including this homage to Hulk 181 with Venom number no. two by Donny Cates. Save 10% off of this or any item on the store anytime you shop there by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. Just like their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com, who has $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. But one of those lucky boxes is going to have their GP, their giveaway prize. So make sure to go ahead and pick up a box. Use the same code GEMMINT to save 10% every time you shop there as well. All right, let's get the base on the turntable here. 
and let's do our best to uh, key in all these different pieces. So color coding does help, but then sometimes it's like, okay, what angle is it? This green kind of looks like that green, but we'll end up getting it together, get all the skulls there. You can tell pretty easily once it fits in though, it wasn't that bad. I've had more intricate and difficult pieces that I've tried to assemble like this, so. Kind of a lot for a sideshow PF though. We've got most of the skulls in now. You can see you kind of have to just try to twist them and turn them to find that right angle. This one's like the teal one. All right, now all the base pieces are in. Let's go ahead and pull out that pin out of her neck. That little skull pin is gonna go through the cape, uh, through the fabric part in the middle, and then key in to, to keep it on her. Also, uh, pretty good engineering on this one. Let's go ahead and fluff out that hood and put it back behind her. And then let's go ahead and get this big piece of hair sculpt on here. Now, I ended up pushing it down a little bit further later on, so it actually does go down slightly more than what I'm showing right here. Let's go ahead and get that sword on the right arm put in first. And then we'll go around to the left hand with that large sickle. And we'll get that keyed in all the way. And then let's do the right hand switch out with the hourglass. Now, uh, you're probably supposed to have the hourglass the other way. I ended up fixing it for some pictures, but uh, I did have it sideways at first. All right, guys, for an older piece, she really holds up. And a tall piece with that sickle. Let's look to see how tall she is without. So just to the top of the head is about 21 inches tall. But this thing stands super tall. So she's about 20, 28 inches tall. Uh, the width on the base, you're looking at about nine and a half inches and the depth is about nine inches. So pretty small footprint, but a very tall piece with that left hand. Now the base itself is kind of simple. It's just a rocky base, but I really like the base elements, the spikes, the skulls on the pikes. I think that really adds a lot to it, gives it a lot of depth and just, I don't know, more exciting than just a plain rocky base. Lady Death herself, she looks amazing. The boots, the sleeves have great texturing, great folds sculpted in. She's got the heels crushing on one of these skulls. Forget it, her anatomy, her figure sculpted immaculately. She's got those two right hand switch outs, right? So I do like the sword switch out, but the exclusive is the hand with the hourglass. Now let's put it on the right way, not that sideways way that I had it. All right, there we go. That's how you're supposed to have it. So that looks great. It's actually made out of little bones as well. You have the sand on the inside and it's really functional. It's legitimately a sand hourglass, but it goes for like five seconds. Uh, man, she looks great. The black costume, the gold highlights, the cape, you know, like I said, at first I wasn't really digging it, but then I really appreciated the fact that this thicker material doesn't wrinkle. And you could display her without that as well. Um, you know what, should we take her off? And, yeah, let's try Let's see what she looks like without the cape and just everything else. Yeah, she displays fine without the cape because there's no keyholes or anything that the cape went into. It's just that pin that goes into her neck. So without the cape, I think I actually like it a little bit more because you know, you have the all sculpted look. It's not hiding any parts of the anatomy. So uh, that's actually a, a really good look for her. Portrait looks great. You know, sometimes on these older pieces, you get a little bit worried, but the portrait looks awesome. I mean, you have the great eyes, that kind of subtle smirk on her face, the dark red lipstick, no neck seam whatsoever, no seam anywhere. The hair just keys onto her head. So uh, engineering wise, they did a great job on this piece as well. Overall, I'm really digging the Lady Death. When she first came out, there was an addition size for the exclusive of 750 and it retailed $350. The collector's edition uh, was the same price, didn't have this switch out right arm with the hourglass, and there was 1,500 of them made. Now, like with some older pieces, it appreciated in value, and it's going for about $600 on the aftermarket. Adrian is looking to sell this for $500 plus shipping because of the breakages on the sword hand, which I glued together. Uh, and shipping should be relatively affordable since it's just one smaller box. So if anyone is interested to picking up this piece, uh, shoot me an email to gemmincy at gmail.com. 
I mean, it's a beautiful piece. But don't take my word for it. Sound off in the comments. What do you think about Lady Death below? And like I said, make sure to hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're very close to our 135,000 subscriber milestone, and I'm going to give away this sealed all-new Wolverine Omnibus once we hit it. What we'll do is we'll go live on the following Sunday, pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews on the playlist on screen, and I'll leave you with Lady Death spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh. Peace.